So I'm going to talk for a little bit about an anime that I love. And I'll be honest, there are times when I'm not sure why I love this anime as much as I do. Uh, K-On! came out at a very particular time in anime fandom. Um, Kyoto Animation was riding high on the success of shows like Haruhi Suzumiya and Lucky Star. And K-On! came out and was clearly a very silly show. Um, about some very silly characters, and um, I started watching it, and I just fell in love with these characters. Um, just all of them, just the whole scenario, the whole situation. Um, I loved how understated it was, um, as silly as k can be. The fact that it's just this sort of regular, everyday, school-life anime series, um, and the fact that it doesn't take itself too seriously. The fact that these characters... Um, you know, it doesn't try to be a really serious musical show, but it is a show about being in this music club. Um, and I just love the fact that it is about getting together with friends and hanging out and being a part of, of something, even when you're not doing the thing you're supposed to be doing, because they never really get anywhere in K-On! is one of the fun things. Uh, but I just love the vivaciousness of this, the brightness of this, how fun it is, um how upbeat the show is, beat, haha, <laughs> um, and the fact that it is just a fun ride all the way through, that you're just, you know, you're just enjoying spending time with the characters. I think it's one of the reasons why K-On, um, why a lot of people bounce off K-On, because it is a very specific experience. It's not an action series. It doesn't have this big driving plot all the way through. It's not psychologically complicated. Um, it is this celebration of hanging out and of youth and of just you know, enjoying being together with, with friends and doing things um, while still being thoughtful about it. You know, Kyoto Animation knows how to be thoughtful about things um, and also how to be silly at times. Um, one of the things that, that um, folks don't quite notice is that in K-On! you have that little, you know, bling from, uh, you know, um, every episode. And Every episode, it gets a little better. There's slight improvement because she's practicing. And it's just one of those little things that if you hear that at, from the final episode versus the first episode, there's, there's progression over there. Because they're thinking about these things. And that's just one of, the, one of the fun things. It is very cute. Um, it is often very silly. But it is just fun. It is, it is fun kind of personified in its, in its own unique way. Um, and it's impressive seeing a series that is that has no mystery. There's no sci-fi invasion. There's no fantasy elements. None of that. It is relentlessly set in the real world with real characters. Well, fairly real characters. Uh, it is anime after all. But uh, that it does so in a way that is just so charming. And that is a... Um, it is a way of spending time that in a lot of other shows would feel like a, like it's a time waster, like you're just sort of churning through minutes because it's, it's a fun show. But this really does feel like it has, um, not weight, but it has um, charm, it has experience, it has, it brings you along with it and with these characters, and you're glad you, you spent the time with it. It wasn't just something to fill time. Uh, you, you end it with some, some emotions and with, with, with some feelings there. Um, just like hanging out with friends, right? Um, it, it's a very particular thing, but I think it, it, it works very well for what it is. And so I just, I love it, I love it, love it.